How's it going everyone? This is Medcat here and today we're going to be answering the question should I use Anki? So Anki is a, an application for spaced repetition using flashcards sort of similar to Quizlet for the MCAT. And my answer is yes and no. So if you're totally confused about what Anki actually is, I've included a link in the description on what exactly Anki is a link to their site, and a video I think is useful for learning how to use Anki should you choose to use it for your studying. So the reason that I say yes to Anki is that on the Psych-Soch section of the MCAT, it is definitely useful. And that's because psychology and sociology, um, especially more than any other section of the MCAT, is very surface level knowledge. It's simply, did you know this or did you not know this? Now, I don't want to trivialize the psych -soci section. I'm not saying that the answers you'll see on the exam will be very abundantly clear to you the first time you see them, but the content that they expect you to know is very surface level, even if the application of that content can be a bit more complex. So I definitely recommend flashcards for the psychology sociology section. Now again, that doesn't mean you have to use flashcards, I just think they're helpful there. Now moving on, for the least helpful section to use Anki for is cars. I don't see any reason to be using Anki flashcards for cars. Mostly because there's no prior content knowledge expected for cars, it's a test of your reading ability your critical analysis and reasoning skills. So if you want to make a little log of the questions you missed, I don't recommend putting them in an Anki flashcard. What I recommend is making a little journal in the format of your choosing, detailing why you missed a question and how you might get that type of question right moving forward in the future. Now, bio biochem is a little bit tricky for Anki flashcards because for bio, I think they're moderately useful. And the reason I say moderately useful for most of the biology concepts is that sometimes you just need to memorize things. For example, um, let's say your amino acids. That's something where flashcards are really going to come in handy. And if you haven't uh, even thought about your amino acids for the MCAT, it is the number one highest yield content area on the MCAT. So feel free to click the link in the upper right hand corner for my YouTube playlist on amino acids. Now, for biochemistry, I would also say it's moderately useful because there are things, for example, like glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, where it can be useful to use Anki's image occlusion feature. And I'll put a link to that video down in the description below as well, where you can see the whole pathway and then test yourself on specific parts of the pathway by occluding or covering up part of the pathway. Now I will say that they're only moderately useful because doing problems is essential. Doing problems is essential in every section, don't get me wrong, but part of the way you learn, so to learn concepts, is by doing problems, especially in sections like biochemistry. And that's definitely going to be the case for our final section, chemistry and physics, or chem phys. So doing problems is essential to learning. So I only recommend using Anki flashcards in the chem phys section for equations. So only use four equations. Because if you don't know this, the MCAT does not give you the equations. You're expected to walk into test day having memorized some of those equations. And I've put a link in the description as well to a Reddit document that I found very useful um, that details the different equations that you need to know for the MCAT. And if you have any questions on an equation that you see and you want to know if it shows up on the MCAT, feel free to simply ask me in the comments of this video below, or any of my videos. So that's it for today's video. In summary, to answer the question, should I use Anki for the MCAT, 
I would say yes in specific sections. Definitely in the psych so so section and only moderately in the chem phys and bio biochem section. Don't use it at all for cars. Use a cars journal, whether you want that to be a physical journal, a Google Doc, or a Google spreadsheet. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.